Hey, what's going on guys? It's Bosnian and welcome back to a, another one of my videos and today We're gonna be talking about the giant monster that was found outside of the map in Zetsubo no Shima It's a part of the distant monster Easter egg and as of the time of making this video We're not sure how we can go about getting uh, this activated to actually see the monster uh, The deadly blue flame actually managed to somehow get it to activate and uh, I'll have the link down in the description below to his channel uh, Go check him out. Uh, he actually managed to activate this and see the monster outside of the map he just randomly started hearing growling noises after he reached like uh, around 50 or something and uh, he went to this part of the map and he looked out and saw the monster now you can clearly see that it's some sort of a monster with a bunch of tentacles and if you look at the three symbols in the location where the skull of Nansapa is after mesmerizing the walls uh, you can clearly see that some sort of a story is being told where a monster with tentacles arrives at the island and it seems that Nan Sapwa sacrifices himself or I don't know does something by removing his head um, really don't know how that solves anything but uh, that's what he did so obviously this monster has to have something more to it I doubt that it would just be put into this map just so damn secretly that you'd practically need to just get like super lucky like this guy did so I'm pretty sure that this monster uh, means something at least so I know we've talked about Cthulhu being close to the island of Zetsubo no Shima, but uh, I don't think that that's Cthulhu. I think that it's something way, way bigger and way more stronger. It could be a monster called Azathoth. And I say this because from what we're looking at, it does kind of seem like the overall shape of the monster is captured in Zetsubo no Shima. And it relates to the Cthulhu mythos, which can obviously be applied uh, to the Black Ops 3 zombie storylines. So apparently, this monster is essentially the king of all the tentacle creatures that we've encountered in Shadows of Evil. And everything that we've seen so far in all of the maps. And apparently, this thing flies around in space and is extremely massive. That just that sounds extremely terrifying uh, just looking at all the illustrations of this thing I think it's pretty safe to assume that uh, this thing is just absolutely horrifying So why is the monster just floating around the water outside of the map instead of attacking us? I think it might be waiting I think that it's watching us for some reason uh, maybe it knows that we're trying to do something and uh, Perhaps it's waiting for the right moment it could be similar to the way that the dragon is being hinted at because from all indication with the leaks and whatnot uh, It seems that we're gonna be getting a dragon in DLC 3 and, and maybe they're only now starting to hint at Azathoth possibly being something we could see in DLC 4 I definitely think that DLC 4 is going to have some sort of an enormous Easter egg ending uh, with a giant boss and uh, Looking at this thing and the way that it's just sitting out there maybe watching us almost kind of foreshadows what we could be seeing in the future and uh, quite possibly a boss it would make sense considering all the stuff going on with the Cthulhu mythos in the zombie storyline uh, I've made a lot of speculation videos about DLC 4 and the best one I theorized about was probably the one with the Great War that was foreshadowed in the shadows of evil mural and the der Isendraka paintings with the knight and his hounds. If you want to see those videos, I'll show them up on screen right now. Uh, just go on my channel and uh, watch those videos. So I think that there could be some sort of a giant Apothecan War at the end of DLC 4. And I do believe that uh, all of these different kinds of like tentacle creatures could be in this map and uh, maybe even Mark was again. So why not add in the god of all the Apothecans in there as a boss? It would make sense. I mean, why not just add the biggest boss that you could possibly add in DLC 4 and just have the biggest ending to a storyline ever I think that it would just be absolutely insane what do you guys think about this monster that's just kind of floating outside of the island kind of I guess watching us maybe it's not watching us maybe it's just minding its own business floating around um, I really don't know obviously this monster holds a lot more significance and I definitely do think that it's some sort of a hint uh, for the future so let me know down in the comment section below what you think about this 
Do you think that it's Azathoth, uh, the monster that I'm talking about here? Or do you think it's something else? Like, it could it be something that uh, Division 9 maybe made? Maybe it was just another one of those creatures that they made, but instead, uh, it's just floating out in the water. Um, I really don't know. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think about all of this. But uh, other than that, that's going to be it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a rating. Please subscribe and have a wonderful day. See you in the next one. Bye.